All right, YouTube, what is going on, guys? David Hammond, beautiful Mother Nature, and in today's tutorial, guys, we are speaking of three reasons why every photographer should own or use a tripod, okay? So, let's get straight to this with the first tip, and that, guys, is the obvious. That is to have a very, very crisp, stable shot, okay? Now, most times, you might think, like, you don't really need that. Most times, it's okay. Your hands are fine. No problem, you keep the shutter high. But, there are some shots that need to be perfect, like immaculate, like you cannot screw up. Maybe you're shooting a wedding and uh, they're about to kiss, like you do not want any camera shake. Or maybe it's, um, as an example, maybe you're doing like sport photography, right? Or you're outdoors and someone's doing a backflip and you just need a super steady shot, right? A tripod is 100% gonna enable you to do that. It's not moving, the camera is steady as you can see, right? And alright guys, the second reason why, you know, to have a tripod for uh, every photographer is or are long exposures. Now long exposures really are just when you keep the shutter open for, you know, extended period of time, one second, five seconds, ten seconds a minute to create an effect generally, right? So that could be you're at a waterfall and you want to get the waterfall to stream down almost like it's uh, like marshmallow water, that's what they'd call it. Long exposure, you want to get the star trailing. Uh, long exposure, you want to get street lights, the lights drifting across the screen. Long exposure. The thing with that is because the shutter is open for an extended period of time, you're going to need a tripod. You're going to need something where you can set the camera down because the second, sorry my dog's back there, the second you have any sort of camera shake, like if I'm to hit the tripod like bang, right, get a little bit of shake, it's ruined. The whole photo can be ruined because you have that shake done, okay? So if you guys are experimenting with long exposures and want to get creative with it, a tripod is the way to go. And alright guys, the third reason for why every photographer should have a tripod, this to me is the most important, it has saved me so many times, and it's why I bring my tripod with me wherever I go, it really doesn't matter. And that is, you can shoot all day, okay? Now what I mean by that is if you have enough light, right? It's midday, maybe it's sunset, uh, sunrise in the morning. Generally speaking, you have enough light, you're okay. There's enough light, you can keep your shutter fast, and you're good, right? Keep that eye so low, the photo's fine. But what happens when that sun sets, or the sun hasn't risen yet, right? It's blue hour, maybe it's past blue hour, it's getting like nighttime. You are going to need a tripod. Again, you're gonna need that long exposure to let in all that light. If you don't, really there's no point shooting because either the camera's gonna be way too shaky, it's gonna be way too grainy, it just won't be a crisp, solid image. You need a tripod when you do not have a lot of light because you can allow that exposure just to does that make sense? You can allow as much light in. The photo is crisp and it's sharp. This is what saved me. This saved me so many times in Alberta when uh, the sun went down and it was blue hour. But I still wanted um, maybe all three of these things, right? Let's wrap all these three tips. I was in Alberta. My family went back to the car because it was getting late. But there was this waterfall shot I wanted that was a long exposure and there was very little light. All three things had the tripod on. It was an extremely stable, crisp shot. Number one, two. I was able to get that long exposure of that waterfall because the shutter, and three, because the shutter was open long enough, it allowed so much light in that my ISO was maybe at like 300. So it was a perfectly crisp, sharp image, and uh, I'm able to use that. So that is it, guys. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope that helped. If it did, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, my name is David. Videos all on outdoor photography, videography, and my lifestyle, okay? So that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Till then, much love. Peace.